let's consider this question but before we solve this problem recap on the proof of log x to base a likewise remember how to solve the derivative of a constant raised to the power of x and how to change logarithm form to index form and vice versa recall the basic derivative table the basic exponential and natural log functions and the basic trigonometric identity functions next let's solve this problem step number one change the logarithm form to index form according to this rule that is this tray will raise this y up and the log will cancel out leaving x isolated on this side next we are going to differentiate both sides separately next differentiate 3 to the power of y when you differentiate a constant to the power of x your answer will be that constant to the power of x multiply the natural log of that constant but with the presence of y you have to multiply the result with dy dx hence the derivative of 3 to the power of y it's going to be 3 to the power of y however i'll multiply it with the natural log of 3 but here because of the presence of this y and not x i will multiply this with dy over dx according to implicit differentiation next differentiate x and we have 1 next make the y dx the subject next i will replace the value of 3 to the power of y with x replacing 3 to the power of y with x this is our dy dx alternatively using the shortcut approach to find our dy dx draw a line next differentiate x and your answer is 1 next the differentiated value which is x you now need to bring it down next at the denominator multiply this with the natural log which is the base and here we have 3 and this is our dy dx which is same as we obtained earlier from the options our answer is d next let's find the derivative of this function to solve this problem step number one change the logarithm form to index form then we are going to have 5 to the power of y is equal to x squared that is this 5 at the base we lift this y up then this log will cancel out and x squared will be isolated next we differentiate both sides separately next differentiate 5 to the power of y when you differentiate a constant you're going to have that constant to the power of x multiply the natural log of that constant but whenever y is involved no longer x you must multiply it with dy dx that is you're multiplying the result with dy dx hence if i differentiate 5 to the power of y i'm going to have 5 to the power of y but multiplied with the natural log of 5 
but because this is y and not x we're going to multiply this result with dy dx according to the law of implicit differentiation next differentiate x to the power of 2 and you have 2x next make the y dx the subject isolating the y dx this will move over to the other side to divide 2x next in the place of 5 to the power of y i'm going to input x squared next x will take away one of these x and this is our dy dx alternatively using a shortcut approach to find our dy dx first draw a line next differentiate x to the power of 2 and your answer is 2x next bring down the differentiated value to the denominator which is x to the power of 2 next you now take the natural log of the base which is 5 next x we take away one of this x and this is our dy dx which is the same answer as we obtained earlier from the options our answer is a next let's find the derivative of this function to solve this problem step number one change the logarithm form to index form this tray are the base we move y up the log will cancel out and tan x is isolated next differentiate both separately next differentiate 3 to the power of y unlike 3 to the power of x when you differentiate 3 to the power of y you're going to have 3 to the power of y multiply by the natural log of 3 then multiply by dy dx according to the rule of implicit differentiation hence the derivative of 3 to the power of y is this next differentiate tan x from the basic derivative table when you differentiate tan x you're going to get sec squared x hence the derivative of tan x is sec squared x remember that sec squared x is the same thing as sec x all squared next make the y dx the subject that is this we move over to the other side to divide sec squared x next we're going to replace 3 to the power of y with tan x and this is our dy dx alternatively using the shortcut approach to obtain the dy dx the first step is draw a line next find the derivative of tan x the differentiation of tan x is sec squared x next bring down the differentiated value to the denominator which is tan x next add the denominator multiply tan x with the natural log of the base which is 3 and this is our dy dx which is the same result as we obtained earlier from the options our answer is b next let's find the derivative of this function to solve this problem step number one change the logarithm form to index form next we're going to differentiate this separately next 
if you differentiate 7 to the power of y, you're going to get 7 to the power of y multiplied by the natural log of 7. Then we're going to multiply it with dy dx because of the presence of this y. However, if this was an x, then we are not going to need the presence of this dy dx. Next, differentiate 3 and we are going to get 0. Next, differentiate 8x and we are going to have 8. We can decide to ignore the presence of this 0. Next, make dy dx the subject. Next, replace 7 to the power of y with 3 minus 8x. And this is our dy dx. Alternatively, using the shortcut approach, the first step is to draw a line. Next, when you differentiate this is 0. Next, when you differentiate minus 8x, you are going to get minus 8. Next, we are going to recopy back 3 minus 8x to the denominator. Next, we are going to multiply this with the natural log of the base, which is 7. And this is our dy dx, which is same answer as we obtained earlier. From the options, our answer is A. Next, let's find the derivative of this function. To solve this problem, step number one, change the logarithm form to index form. Next, we're going to differentiate both separately. When you differentiate 8 to the power of y, you are going to get this. Next, differentiate sine x. From the basic derivative table, when you differentiate sine x, you are going to get cos x. Hence, the derivative of sine x is cos x. Next, make the y dx the subject. Next, in the place of 8 to the power of y, we are going to substitute sine x. Instead of 8 to the power of y, we now have sine x. Next, I can rewrite this to become this. Both are the same. Cos x divided by sin x has a trigonometric identity. From the basic trigonometric identity functions, cos x divided by sin x is the same thing as cot x. Hence, Instead of cos x divided by sin x, I now have cot x. And this is our dy dx. Alternatively, using the shortcut approach. To find the dy dx, step number one, draw a line. Next, differentiate sin x. And you have cos x. Next, return the differentiated function to the denominator. Next, at the denominator, multiply this with the natural log of the base. Here it is 8. Next, the value of cos x divided by sin x is cot x, and this is our dy dx. From the options, our answer is C. This is calculus.